What's going on guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back and I'm doing a new segment called Tech Guy Answers. So I'm gonna pick one question every week and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna answer it. So leave your comments below, ask me questions about any of these devices. I'm gonna pick one person each week and I'm gonna answer their question. So this week's question came from Ravi Nora, who wanted to know, can we connect two Bluetooth devices together in iPad? I mean, Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. So that is an excellent question because I've seen this question before in several of my videos. So I'm going to actually do that right now. I'm gonna show you that you can connect two Bluetooth devices to this iPad, iPad Pro 11. Let's check it out. So in order to do this, you just first gotta have two Bluetooth devices. And I have a bunch of them sitting right out in front of me. Have my newest keyboard from Jellycomb. This is a foldable keyboard just picked up from Jellycomb. I'm enjoying that. Um, I have the Wedge mouse over here from Microsoft. I have the Apple Magic Mouse 2 here. And one of my favorite devices that I like to use is the Lenovo Yoga. So what okay, so to show you that I actually can do this or that you can do this, anybody can do this if you have all these devices, any of these devices, you just go into your setting and you're going to go down to accessibility, which is right here. And from there, you're going to go to switch control. From switch control, you go to switches. You can go to regular Bluetooth, but it's just easier to find your Bluetooth devices here because they all pop up right. Here. You don't have to go through all the ones that are that you've done in the past, speakers and all that stuff. I just find a little bit more decluttered right in here. So as you can see, Apple Pencil is connected. Bluetooth keyboard is connected, which is right here. Then down here, I got Lenovo Yoga, Magic Mouse 2, and Microsoft Wedge. All of these are connected all at the same time. So we got five Bluetooth devices connected to this iPad all at one time. So we're gonna go right here into notes, into the notes app, and I'm just gonna type something. All right, so typing is still working. Now let's try our mouse. So Lenovo Yoga. Now it's not as fluid as it would normally be. We can highlight all this. And that maybe because it's all these devices are connected at one time, they're sharing this Bluetooth connectivity. But the wedge mouse is actually moving a little bit faster, a little bit better. All our clicks are working. Go back out here. Scrolling is working. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Back out here, scrolling. That's working, okay. And we know that the Apple Magic Mouse there we go, moving around the screen, no problems. It doesn't support any scrolling, anything of that nature, but you do get that click and you can swap pages by holding down on your left click and going left or right. So there we go, five Bluetooth devices, one, two, three, four, and five. Like I said, it's probably, Lenovo Yoga usually works really well, but maybe due to all the devices being connected, it's having that little lag, but everything else pretty much worked on point. Um, so the question that we're answering is, can multiple Bluetooth devices be connected and all work at the same time? And the answer is yes. I got five going all at one time. They're all working. You're gonna be able to use your keyboard as well as your mouse. They're all gonna be able to sync up and work together with this iPad Pro 11. So I hope this is able to help someone out. Hopefully I was able to answer that question. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. So be sure and comment below to get your question answered for next week. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.